Look at my lazy dogs. The princess, Cyan, is just laying there guarding the gate. Tex, he's just like ignoring me. Look at this. Look, he's ignoring me. There he is. There's Tex. Big Tex. Big, big Tex. We got the got the tub out. We're gonna get a bath today. Get you know, always standing. Gotta dig. Got got the tub out. We're gonna get a bath today. So I finished the uh, part one of the covered wagon. Sort of. This is where our what we're gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna put sides on it like a um, semi flatbed trailer. It'll be up higher, so when we put the cart in, it'll, uh, when we put the hammerhead in there, it'll be up higher, and then uh, be able to cover it, but right now, we're using this, um, so I made this so we can take it off and put the uh, kayaks underneath here, and they fit in, slide right underneath this uh, wooden structure that I built, and uh, we got cover on it so when it rains it doesn't like the water doesn't sit on the um, on the tarp so it just drain off then when we go to uh, do kayaking eh, I know it's covering the wheels a little bit uh, but I have to you know slide it up over the wheel well but uh, that works and yesterday we had uh, put up a portable Harbor Freight Garage, uh, a 10 by 17, uh, and that was fun. Mary and I put this thing together, and uh, that's what we're looking at here. Uh, we never put one together, but uh, but we got it together. We made some uh, little. We had to redo the bottom bars but we, we got it done we're gonna clean up the backyard and our shed here this is our gazebo we turned into a, a portable shed so and this is a coleman uh it's like a six-sided um gazebo thing that you, you put in your yard had screens but we the screens got all ripped and top was all wore out we just kind of made my own top work but portable garage here let me get this go in here and it got dirty man trying to all this dirt for put a big tarp down here 17 foot deep. Yeah, Mary goes, you know, maybe we could probably put some cots in here and uh, rent the space out. <laughs> but we got it done. We did this yesterday. We took our time, you know. We're a couple old people. We took our time, but we got it done. Now, uh, the issue we're having, we put, I put the these bars on right here first before we put the top on we found out that these bars had to slide in there so we had to take all the <laughs> bolts off and then we redo it so no problem so we got ourselves a little eight foot pool we're going to put on the uh, patio back here um, we're not going to use our hot tub this year we're going to store it so this is our our um, this is the she calls this my man cave so i'm gonna start storing this and you know the tractor I bought this tractor at um at the flea uh, not flea market at a uh, pawn shop here in Gladewater, uh superior pawn shop it's on main street and we got it for like uh i can't remember how much we paid for it Two two hundred bucks or something like that, or three hundred dollars. But uh, yeah, and we bought the hammerhead there. The hammerhead I got over here. We'll get in here. So we had some uh, bamboo that we were using 
made a door out of PVC pipes. So I'm gonna get this out of here today. I'm gonna get this out of here and move it into the to the to your garage. My uh, my little um, makeshift uh, PVC pipe door, but it works. Doesn't have to be secure. This is gonna be um, Mary's um, garden room, I guess, or whatever you call it. I'm gonna put the tractor in here, and all the lawn equipment is gonna go in here. So, so all my tools and stuff stuffed in here. It's hardly any room to move around in here. But this, I got the Hammerhead GTS at Superior Pond here in Gladewater, Texas. So it was a plugging them and uh, they, they, they let me put it on um, put it on layaway for uh, 650 you know, with taxes 700 out the door but uh, it's very upon Gladewater Texas about two major items there and, and uh, I'm still once I get this hammer head in the garage I'll uh, take the uh, take it the timing Get all the timing back together and get it all put back together. So I'm gonna clean up this backyard. And uh, the seat here, uh, man, is finally uh, here's the passenger seat. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. But uh, I got some wood here that I cut, and I'm gonna put a steel bar. In the back side here, kind of bend it so the headrest kind of bends forward a little bit, and then uh, I'll staple it all back together, glue it, and staple it all back together, and put it back on the the seat. Once I get everything together, we'll be able to uh, go for a ride. <laughs> well, that's all we got here.